Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Process control, modes of process control, part 2. Modes of process control, part 2. In this module, we will discuss proportional integral control, PI mode, proportional derivative control, PD mode, and proportional integral derivative control, PID mode. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate me to produce more knowledgeable video content for you. Subscribe now before you forget. In the part 1 of the subject, we discussed in detail two modes of process control, on-off control and proportional control algorithm. The understanding of the proportional control algorithm is necessary to learn and understand the other modes of control, namely PI, PD and PID control algorithm. Those viewers who have not seen the part 1 are requested to watch the video for better grasping of the concepts. PID algorithm, proportional plus integral mode. Integral mode is also called reset mode. For the experienced viewers, I would like to pose a simple question. How many of you have ever given a thought what type of control mode the plant controllers are using in the plant you are working? If you are not aware, don't worry. This video brings to you what everybody wants to know about. Recall what we learned in the previous video under proportional controller. The proportional controller cannot keep the PV at its set point if there are load variations. The objective of the integral action is to bring the PV back to set point, that is to say, to eliminate the offset present in the proportional mode. The integral control action is expressed by the relationship Mv equal to Kc by Ti integral 0 to T Et dt plus i where mv is the manipulated variable, ti the integral time, kc the control gain, e is the error, and i the initial value of the mv when e is equal to 0. If there is a step change in error equal to x occurs at time t, then the integral mode response will be mv equivalent to kcx divided by ti. The integral mode is also called a reset control mode. When error is detected, the controller will respond by taking a proportional action first. Since the PV has still not come back to its set point, the controller will continue to send output to control valve till the error is eliminated. Thus, integral control action is the result of integrated error over time. The longer the error persists, the larger the control action. The integration continues until the error is eliminated. As given in the integral action expression above, the integral or reset time Ti is a characteristic of the integral control mode. While the integral action eliminates the offset, it takes longer time to stabilize at the set point than a proportional control. The integral action also adds to some oscillation to the process response.
the combination of proportional integral control called PA control takes advantage of both control modes proportional and integral. The MV in the proportional integral mode is expressed by Kc times E plus 1 by Ti integral 0 to T E dt plus I. The PA control action is additive in nature that is the change in control output or manipulated variable or the value position is the effect of contribution of proportional and integral action of the PA controller. This figure shows the response of PA controller in response to a step change in positive error with respect to time. Initial proportional control action followed by the integral response action is illustrated with P plus I expression. The reset action will sense the error or an offset is present after proportional action has taken place and continue to change the wall position. This process will continue further until the error is eliminated. PID algorithm proportional plus derivative mode. Derivative is also called rate mode. The objective of the derivative action is to bring about a controller response and produce the controller output which is proportional to rate of change of error or process value. The derivative action does not respond to step change in error. Instead, it responds to the rate of change in error. The derivative term anticipates the change and initiates control response. In that sense, the control mode is predictive. The MV or output of a derivative control mode is expressed as MV equal to Kc into Td times DE by DT plus I, where Td is the derivative or rate time. The larger the value of Td, the faster the derivative response of the controller. This figure shows the response of a derivative or rate controller in response to a ramping error. Observe the derivative response alone. There is a step change in the control output when the rate of error change is detected. In the real world industrial practices, the derivative mode is not used alone. It is used in combination with proportional mode known as PD mode. The MV in a PD mode is expressed by Kc times E plus Td into DE by DT plus I. This figure shows the response of a PD controller in response to a positive error with respect to time. Observe the proportional response alone. The rate of change of the value position of the control valve is slower. The rate of change of valve movement in response of the PD controller action is much faster because of the right rate action. That is, the valve position in PD control mode exceeds that of the proportional control action alone. Also, it takes less time for the valve to ramp up in PD control mode than in a proportional control mode. The faster response is due to the derivative time Td. PID algorithm proportional plus integral plus derivative mode. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your Spec Elon channel is a one-stop learning and skill development channel for your career. So do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button right now.
the PID algorithm has all the three modes proportional, integral or reset and derivative or rate. PID has three adjustable parameters in the algorithm. KC the controller gain, TI integral time, TD the derivative time. KC affects all the three modes. Hence the ball position in response to an error in the process will be decided by adding the effects of all the three modes. The controller output or MV in a PID controller is expressed as MV equal to KC times E plus 1 by TI integral of 0 to T ET DT plus TD into DE by DT plus I. The major advantage of the PID mode is the elimination of the offset with the faster response due to the cumulative benefits of controller gain, integral time and rate time. But the challenge is that one has to adjust three parameters in one controller, KC, TA, TD for optimum performance. PID control is well suited to processes that are slow or those with excessive lag. The temperature control of reactors or distillation columns are typical applications where PID control mode is extremely useful due to lag in the process. For example, if there occurs a changes in process loads, the system will respond quickly in the case of pressure or level. But temperature change in a system due to the above load changes do not show up immediately due to large holdup of inventory or material in the system. This long lag can be reduced by PID control algorithm. Now let me take you through an example for better understanding. We will examine why the application of PID control for temperature control of multi-component distillation columns in refineries or petrochemical plants is essential for stable and optimized column performance. Illustrated in this figure is a distillation column. We will focus on the reboiler loop to understand the PID algorithm for temperature control. The reboiler steam is controlled by the column bottom temperature. Column bottom temperature is related to the energy balance. And the amount of steam supplied to the reboiler is a measure of energy requirement of the column, which is determined by the feed, the reflux ratio, the bottom product composition, etc. Hence, any change in these parameters will have an impact on the column bottom temperature and it will take time for the system to respond. PA controller will respond slowly. PAD is the most preferred choice for this column control to reduce the lag. This is the block diagram of the PAD control. The error is processed by the three modes P, I and D. An output is generated by the combined action of all the three modes. In applying the PED control, the best control stability performance can be achieved by adjusting the values of the proportional gain, the reset time and the rate time. This figure shows the effect of the contribution of the derivative action on the PAD controlled response. The PA control mode takes longer to respond due to lag time in the process. PAD uses the predictive nature of the derivative mode to respond faster and achieve better control performance. In summary, the characteristics of the different modes of control are 
one proportional mode offset persist proportional integral mode offset eliminated but takes long time to stabilize pad mode no offset and faster response to error Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career-oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.